Welcome to this video on image creation with stable diffusion. In this episode we'll have a look at upscaling to create high quality photorealistic images. Images are usually created with a size like this, 512 pixels. And if we would just blow that up to 2048, it looks like this, blurry and yeah, not nice to look at. We want to make it look like this, photorealistic. There are different ways to do it, so we have to make a choice. I just generated our secretary, uh, image size 512. The prompt and the settings are in the description and the model used is Realistic Vision 2. So what we could do is send this image to extras over here, uh, bottom right, send to extras, and there we could use an upscaler, uh, resized by 4, and if you click the upscaler you get a complete list, yeah, the list by default is less entries than my list, I already added a few. But one of the upscalers that is by default available and often used is Ezergan four times. Um, when we would generate this image, it looks like this. This is our 512 image just blown up four times. And uh, this is our upscaled Ezergan four times. Um, it may look a lot sharper, well it does look a lot sharper, however if we look at her skin that is totally not realistic at all. This is sharp but not a photo, more like a cartoon. Uh, this is not what I like. Luckily there are um, other upscalers available but we need to download them first, they are not in stable diffusion by default. It's not difficult. Let's have a look. One of the upscalers often mentioned and used is UltraSharp. There is this wonderful website called Upscale Wiki and it contains a database of many, really many upscalers. And if we scroll down, we find in the section Universal Models the 4 times ultra sharp. Just download it and find it in your download folder. In the download folder, pick it up, uh, just cut and then go to your install of stable diffusion and over there find the models and then the Ezergan folder. That's the one that contains all the upscalers and I already have ultra sharp so here you paste it and then you have it available restart and go again here we are I now have uh, ultra sharp available here in my list so that's what I select generate and then the image it looks like this this is Ezergon now let's switch to ultra sharp 3 2 1 go I hope you noticed the difference. There are a couple. Let's specifically look at her skin on the forehead and the cheeks. It's much more photorealistic. The details in the necklace are sharper and also the bokeh in the background is correct. In Ezergon it tried to sharpen that. Let's go back to Ezergon. This is Ezergon. Look oh, here in the background it tries to sharpen that which is not for a photo uh, what you want. And also the skin is so smooth and the necklace is not that sharp. Back to ultra sharp again, 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, this is more photorealistic, but still I don't like it. I can see that this is not a photo, this is computer generated somehow. Uh, while I was at that uh, database, that wonderful database that was called the uh, Upscale Wiki, uh, well, there are so many models here, I thought to myself, well, why stick to this 4 times ultra sharp that everyone likes so much, over there it is. There are many more models and I started reading all these texts uh, and I found the realistic photos and, well, I tried a lot of them and to make a long story short, I came up with three that I like most. It's a personal preference. 
your preference may differ. These are the three that I found very nice on photos. Well, that is another issue. Uh, an upscaler can work very nice for photos, uh, but then uh, maybe are, is worse for pixel art or when you are doing anime, uh, look, this <laughs> the base is really large, uh, anime, uh, there are specific upscalers for that. So you have to experiment. Okay, uh, let's go to one of those upscalers that I like most, the Nickelback. However, there is another trick on the sleeve. We now upscaled four times in extras. Why should we do that? Uh, we can also upscale in text to image. Uh, that is because of this tick I can set at high res fix. Uh, it says upscale by two. Yeah, we could try to upscale by four, uh, but my video card runs out of memory, so I cannot even experiment with it. But what I can do is upscale by two, and then again choose my upscaler. Well, I uh, specifically like the Nickelback that I downloaded from that website. Uh, so let's choose that one. And now comes an important step uh, with the upscaling in the text to image generator. We have to set a denoise strength. Experimenting uh, showed that 0.3 works fine. Uh, if you choose to select a latent upscaler, there is really no reason to do that because all of these other ones that we just downloaded are better, but you may want to experiment. The latent uh, upscalers, they need a denoising strength of 0.5. That is experimental proven, that gives the best quality. Uh, but the, all the other ones, the non-latent ones, they need a denoising strength of 0.3. Okay, so what I did is generate uh, this image, uh, two times upscaled, with the nickel back, and then send it to extras, like that, and there upscale it again uh, with nickel back, but now of course not four times, but two times. And let's have a look at the result that comes out of that. Right, let's do Ezergon as a start. That was the smooth cartoon like four times upscaled in extras. This was four times upscaled by Ultra Sharp, a better image, more photorealistic in my personal opinion. But now comes 3, 2, 1, go. The two times in uh, text generation and then two times in extra. So two times two. And in my personal opinion, this is uh, much more photorealistic. Uh, the skin is uh, detailed. Uh, but also the necklace, if you uh, take a look at the difference in the necklace, it's much more yeah, subtle, so to speak. Uh, let's go to back to ultra sharp. This is ultra sharp. It has also higher contrast. Well, if I compare the two, this is um, Nickelback two times two. This is ultra sharp four times. Uh, of course, you can also do ultra sharp two times two, and then yeah, you will again have a different image. It takes some experimenting, but in my experience, this two times in the text to image, and then two times in extras, it works fast, and it gives photorealistic results. Okay, these again are the three names of the um, upscalers that I personally like for photos and for anime and drawings, uh, different ones, uh, you can find them in that big database. Here is another photo. Uh, yeah, I can call it a photo because, well, it is a stable diffusion generated image, but with this two times uh, upscaling in text to image and two times in extras, my idea is that it will be difficult to uh, see that this is not a photo, especially if you look from a distance. It still is in the eye, oh, in the eyes a little bit. That yeah, uh, just not natural, but uh, it starts to look really like photorealistic stuff. 
Well, this was it for the upscaling and the upscaling database. Well, that is just uh, uh, incredible. There are so many upscalers, it will take a year to try them out all. But of course, uh, they are already have a text with them, which are the best ones. So just take a moment to look over that and find the ones that you like personally best. For me, the Nickelback, it is a bit noisy, I admit, but that gives a nice film grainy look. And of course you can also try the other ones that I list over here for the final time. These are the ones I like for photos. Maybe see you back in the next video. In the meantime, have fun. <laughs>